How's it going, guys? I'm your host Sala. Welcome back to a Singaporean life. And today we will be talking about the Singapore Discover vouchers. Now, most of you, if not all of you, should have probably gotten your Singapore Discover vouchers by now. If you are a Singaporean citizen, they should have been sent to your mailbox. So. Uh, do go ahead and check it okay inside the letter okay you will find two different pieces of paper they are double sided okay uh, they are basically saying the same thing one is in English the other side will be in Chinese and the other piece you have uh, Malay on one side and Tamil on the other side okay so I'm just going to show the English side to you guys since uh, I assume most of my uh, viewers are actually understand English okay so I know my webcam is a little blurry and it's not that clear but you guys can go ahead and uh, read it yourself so I'm just going to go through very quickly what this is so as part of the government's effort to support local tourism businesses hundred dollar Singapore rediscover vouchers uh, is basically ten ten dollar vouchers okay so ten times ten dollar vouchers will be given to each singaporean aged 18 and above as of 2020 if you have family members under 18 you can enjoy a ten dollar discount per ticket for up to six chow or youth tickets okay the vouchers can be used for attractions hotels and tours from 1st december 2022 30th of june 2021 and sing pass is required for all redemptions okay so you can go to a few different websites to go ahead and use these vouchers. They are namely Changi Recommends, Global Tix, Travel Oka, Klook, and Trip.com. So you can use any of these uh, websites. I will show, show it to you guys later on. And then you can select the experience and dates that you want. And then you have to log in via your SingPass and generate a promo code for your purchase. Last but not least, complete your purchase and receive an e-confirmation. You can also visit visit physical outlets to redeem okay you can head to go.gov.sg slash sr vouchers for the latest updates and for singpass assistance you guys can go to any of your community centers or community clubs if you need help setting up your singpass if you need help resetting your password or if you just need help in general redeeming the tickets or learning how the entire singpass system works this is more for the elderly who don't really know how to use this so for people age 60 and above if you're not that familiar with all the it technicalities then you can head down to your nearest community center and there will be people there who will be more than happy to help you out okay now I'm going to go through one frequently asked question first and probably the most frequently asked question can you stack the Singapore rediscover vouchers mean to say can you combine more than one together like let's say if you have a hotel trip costing $200 can you stack uh, the vouchers from two people to get it completely free the answer is no you cannot stack your singapore rediscover vouchers they said that they did this to prevent scalping i think it's kind of good so that uh, people won't try and resell it because there's no point in stacking and everyone can only use a hundred bucks okay so uh, i do think it's a good system to prevent the reselling of tickets however i feel that this could have been done better because there are families who maybe they want to travel together or just visit some attraction together and it'll be better if you can allow them to combine it since we are using sing pass for the redemption anyways my suggestion would be to let people living in the same household redeem uh, be able to stack their vouchers whereas people living in different households they will not be able to stack their vouchers i think this is very easy to implement simply because you need sing pass for all redemptions so the government more or less already has all of our details so i think that will be uh, something that they can improve towards if they want to implement this again uh, next year or anywhere in the near future right so enough of me uh, chit-chatting, let us take a look at the different websites and see what kind of different attractions or uh, staycations you guys can book. So the first one here I have Changi Recommends. Okay, Changi Recommends, uh, I'm just going to click on this Singapore Discover Vouchers and let's see here. 
Okay, so it's my first time looking at these sites and all the stuff here. How to use Singapore Rediscover Vouchers. Browse products with the Singapore Discover Vouchers icon. It items with shopping cart. When ready, you pay. Click on use Singapore Discover Vouchers at the checkout page. Log in using SingPass to choose amount of Singapore Discover Vouchers to redeem. Copy the generated promo code and paste it at the checkout page and complete the checkout process within 10 minutes and enjoy your Singapore Discovers experience. Okay. Uh, you can book a staycation and start your holiday here hotel deals up to 50% off so you can see here these are the ones that are eligible for the Singapore Rediscover vouchers right here okay the one with this logo Singapore Zoo Gardens by the Bay Wildlife Reserve Bundles okay I'm just going to click into a few of them that interest me and going to take a look at it now uh, full discretion here I am not in any way sponsored by any of these companies or sponsored by the government to do this video I just thought that um, since this channel covers Singaporean stuff and this is something that all Singaporeans will be getting I think it will be quite nice to uh, you know cover it for those of you guys who are wondering okay Okay, let's see. Uh, Changi Coast Staycation with Breakfast and DIY Singapore Sling Experience. Okay, nice. Uh, Changi Airport Canopy Park. Maybe Crown Plaza Changi Airport Amazing Getaway Village uh, Package. Jewel Changi Airport Canopy Bridge. Sky Pass Unlimited with Arbora slash Go Meal. Uh, Capital Cam Camping. Camping Ski Hotel Singapore Family Glamcation and Hotel G Singapore Glam Your Gram Staycation Package. Okay, so I'm not going to click on every single one of them. Oh, oh wait, there's more stuff here. Okay, you have other activities here apparently. You have your Nerf Action Experience. This is quite interesting to me because I am uh I do play Nerf quite a lot. You have Madame Tussauds, you have Skyline Luge and Skyride Sentosa. Okay. Sky Pass Round the Trip Bundle Night Safari Sentosa Island Bus Tour Can load more, I don't know why mine isn't Oh, okay, now it's loading Jewel Changi Airport Mirror Maze Interesting Menu Life Skynets Bouncing at Jewel Changi Airport Hedge Maze uh, Skynets See what else they have River Safari Okay, let's check out the different things here Changi Cove confirmation. They give you the confirmation, the duration, uh, whether or not you're allowed to cancel, voucher type, minimum, packs, amendments, transport, date type. Okay, very nice. Five booked. And you can stay, uh, one night stay in standard room. Oh, so all of these are one night things. Interesting. Let's look at something else. Uh, Changi Airport Canopy Park. Family bundle. Okay, so the options are more or less quite limited, uh, at least for Changi recommends. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's only one option for most of them. Like, you don't really have uh, much choice here. Okay, so Canopy Bridge. You know what? I'm probably not going to look through every single thing. Massive create, massive challenge. Interesting. Okay, this is quite interesting to me. The Nerf Action Experience, maybe I'll check that out. Skyline Luge, this is pretty fun. I've uh, ridden on one of these before. You basically take the cable car all the way uh, up to the top of the hill and then you ride down in one of these. Very, very fun. Though it, uh, the, the ride is, gets, the ride is over pretty quickly and you have to sit the cable car all the way up to the uh, mountain again to ride it down again. So just something to, Keep in mind, okay, so two rounds, uh, two rounds, I think not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, uh, Sky Pass Round Trip, Night Safari, Sentosa Islands Bus Tour, Mirror Maze. Hmm, interesting. Loading more, let's see what else we have here. I Fly Singapore, ooh, this is something I'll be interested in as well. Bird Park, nah, not really. Head Rock VR, ooh. Segway Eco, that's interesting. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch for Changi Recommends. Yeah, you really do have quite a lot of options for Changi Recommends. Uh, in terms of variety of what you can do, but for most of the, uh, like the package options, once you once you click inside, you don't really have a lot of options. Okay, iFly gives you 
six options okay this is one of them that gives you more options for most of oh this one gives you four options okay most of the hotel stays you only have one option which kind of sucks because maybe people want to stay longer than one night that sort of thing you know what i mean or like they they want more than one people one person uh staying there okay now let's look at the next one global ticks uh attraction sea aquarium universal studio singapore i know many people will probably want to go for this uh and for me personally i don't really like i've been to universal studios countless times already by now so i'm not really a universal studios type of person like i really enjoy the attractions there but i've just been there like way too many times for me to even feel excited about it for those of you guys who haven't had the chance to visit or don't visit universal studios as often then yeah maybe you guys can consider going there okay you have tours here and the best part is you can compare uh prices across all of the different merchants to see which one is the cheapest okay you have hotels as well bundles okay you don't get wait oh you can view more yeah there's there's more stuff let's look at attractions this is pretty annoying not gonna lie sky park observation deck okay let's click into this let's see what we get to be applied at checkout page booking involves the use Ooh, oh this one lets you select okay this is quite nice like you can select different one yeah, global ticks gives you a few more choices compared to oh boeing 737 experience interesting and have the i fly here as well Ooh. okay wow this is pretty freaking expensive uh it's basically a glorified flight simulator i guess uh i fly singapore let's see here hmm okay i think the Changi recommends has more options here. You don't really, yeah, you only have one teaser package choice for Global Ticks. Okay. Dark Tours. Okay, let's look at. Let's look at the hotels. Do you get more choices for the hotels? Uh, deluxe room per room. You can select how many you want. But, yeah, for the most part, it's pretty limited to. Oh, okay. This one. Yeah, you get a little bit more choice with Global Ticks, but for the most part, it's still like locked to as many days as they give you. Hmm. Alright, let's look at Travel Oka right now. Travel Oka. And I'm not sure why the image is like this. It's not because my internet is having any problems or why this image is so low quality and stretched out. I really don't know why. What in the world? Is this like the... Why is this the mobile website? Oh, I'm on the mobile website. I apologize for that. I do not know why. I am on the mobile website. Okay. So, it's nothing to do with their website. It's just something to do with my stupidity. But, okay. Anyways, let's check it out. Yeah, you can compare prices. Most of them, they are offering... They are generally offering the same stuff, but at different pricing. This one is 66. I know Global Ticks one is slightly cheaper. Okay. Yeah, they are, they are mostly offering the same stuff, as you guys can see. There's a few variations here and there. But for the most part, it's generally the same, I would say interesting mandarin orchard singapore yeah pretty cool pretty cool uh travel oka i think this is more seems to be more expensive starting from 66 dollars wow yeah, this is definitely more expensive than the previous one now again maybe i'm missing out some details here i'm not clicking inside to see what uh the differences are but you know across different websites there are certainly different uh pricing so go ahead do your research make sure you get the cheapest one possible to make your money's worth even though you're getting vouchers for this but you know uh if you get the cheapest one possible maybe you can use your vouchers on something else as well okay so you need to browse products with this icon uh where do you actually see the icon do all these have the icons no what 
How do I see the icons? I'm not seeing the icons. Do I not have any thing that's eligible for Singapore Rediscover here? Let's go back. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, all of them are eligible. All right. Hotels, uh, attractions. Yeah, all of them are eligible. Okay, that's nice. Now let's look at Cloak. Okay, Cloak. What do you have for Cloak? Uh. This is my first time navigating all of their websites, so keep that in mind. I'm just, I just want uh, to let you guys see how the whole experience of navigating the website looks like. Okay, browse products. Okay, looks like generally it's free fifty dollar voucher on us when you use. Ooh, oh, they got extra promotions. Wow. Okay, those of you going for hotel stays, you might want to go for Cloak instead. You get an extra fifty dollar vouchers. Okay. Minimum of fifty dollars to redeem. Receive the fifty dollar Klook voucher. Ooh, wow! Klook could be the better one if you're looking for a staycation. Go for Klook because you get an additional fifty dollar voucher. That's nice. I'm not sure if this these are the cheapest prices though. Hmm, and there's interesting select options oh this one gives you quite a few options too oh nice yeah unfortunately you cannot choose to stay longer than one night yeah most of these they are all one night stays i do not know why they limit it to one night for some weird reason in my opinion i think it is better off to use the vouchers on attractions because most people if you are going for a staycation they usually stay like two days three days one day uh, I wouldn't say there aren't any people who stay one day, but generally it's quite hard to find people who just stay for one day. Like generally they want to stay at least two to three days, I think. So yeah. Okay, and then you get reviews as well. That's nice. Okay, cool. Now let's look at trip. Trip.com. This one is for traveling though. I don't know why they will be traveling here i assume the singapore rediscover vouchers only applies to local staycations and I get a whole bunch of tickets air tickets here which you probably shouldn't be getting anyway because of the whole covid situation okay uh why do i not see any singapore rediscover thingy ah there you are there you are okay ooh $716 resort Aquarius Hotel Singapore hmm. okay future dates were last booked one hour ago on our site okay so it looks like uh, one king bit one night yeah most of them are one night See, this is one night again. I don't. This is what I don't really like is that they are limited to one night. Like you can't go higher than one night for some weird reason. And most of them they don't allow you to amend. Okay. Uh, I know some allow it, but I don't know if. But I think most of them they don't allow amendments, so that kind of sucks. Uh, Singapore flyer. Yeah, you only get one option here. Singapore Flyer for those of you guys who haven't had the chance to go on to this thing then yeah it's a once in a lifetime experience but once you ride it once you probably won't want to ride it again because there is no point in riding it more than one time in my opinion let's look at the skyline luge is this cheaper than just now I think it was right $20.50 I think this is even cheaper yeah how many rides are these two rounds yeah i think this was cheaper than just now right i can't really remember but you guys can watch back and see and you know compare across the different sites by yourself so that is basically it for the uh showcase of the different websites that you can use to you uh for your singapore discover vouchers remember that your vouchers are only valid till 30th june 2021 that being said do not be in a big hurry to use them uh you probably want to use them during off-peak periods one is because you don't want a huge spike in corona cases and uh secondly is because 
you know it will be nicer if you have the entire place to yourself right because who doesn't want uh, privacy to spend with the uh, uh, family and friends like you wouldn't want to queue up also uh, with a whole bunch of other strangers that you don't really know as well so yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys have found the video informative if you like uh, such content be sure to subscribe to the channel and till the next time i'm your host jala peace out